Okay, this video is going to be on size limit limitations for Florida fish and uh, surf fishing and also how to measure those fish. If you were to ask different fishermen, well, how do you measure a fish after you catch it to make sure it's legal? Well, some might say, well, you measure from the tip of the nose to the end of the tail, and that would be right. And if you were to ask someone else, they might say, well, no, you got to go from the tip of the nose to the uh, fork of the tail. Well, they'd be right, too, because the truth of the matter is, is depending on the species that you catch, there are different rules. And uh, I got a couple different websites here that will help you. And keep in mind that if you look at the info section of my video, I'll have those links for you so you can easily click on them. But this one is from the visitflorida.com site. And you can see that uh, there's actually like three or four different kinds of ways to measure different species. You got your sailfish, it goes from the bottom jaw to the fork. Uh, and that's just for sailfish. And then, you know, here's a Spanish mackerel. You go from the nose to the fork. And then you pick up a red drum over here. It's from the nose to the tail. And you're allowed to pinch the tail to get a little get more uh, distance out of it. So, uh, and, and your pompano. I, I know a lot of you guys and girls out there like to fish for pompano. And, and uh, the pompano is a fork length measurement. So, when you go to catch pompano, you got to make sure, first of all, they're 11 inches in the state of Florida, and you measure them from the nose to the fork. And I'll be honest with you, I've seen a lot of fishermen out there throw shorts in their bucket and uh, because they're measuring them wrong, and that can get a little bit costly if a uh, Florida Fish and Wildlife officer were to come up to you and inspect your fish. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but this is a really good site here. If you go to this one, you can you can look at the uh, proper ways to measure. That's what this one is good for. And uh, another site that I like that's going to be real helpful for you is from the the my FWC, the Florida Fish and Wildlife uh, site, and this will show you depending on the fish that you catch. Uh, what the size limit is. And keep in mind, there are some out there that there, there really uh, isn't a size limit. Uh, you know, I, I don't think there's a, a size limit for uh, some of the fish that I catch, um, whiting in particular, but maybe I'm wrong in that. I don't think there is. But you can scroll through this and keep in mind when you, when you go to uh, open this, it's a PDF and you can click on the plus sign so it's a little easier to read but uh, anyways if we if we look at this chart and we scroll down this is going to show us how the uh, minimum size limit is for each species and uh, the ones we're going to be more concerned with are uh, possibly uh, Spanish mackerel and also uh, pompano and uh, and permit as well here's permit over here you know they uh, they need to be 11 inches minimum and no more than 22. And uh, if we go down a little farther, there's our friend Mr. Uh, Florida Pompano here. And uh, he's 11 inch fourth length. And, uh, and keep in mind, that's from the tip of his nose to this portion of the fork here. You're not allowed to squish that tail at all either. And uh, six per harvester. Now that's not true if you have a commercial fishing license with the RS endorsement. And you can watch my video on commercial fishing license to find out more about that. You're allowed 200 if you have that RS endorsement. But uh, anyways, this is a really good site to let you know uh, how big these fish have to be. You know, here's one here, a blue runner. You know, uh, it doesn't have a size limit. So uh, you can catch them as small as you want and take them home. Um, the other thing I want to talk to you about, too, is, is you know, uh, many times I've gone out there and I've, I've seen people fishing for pompano, and while they're on the beach, they catch some pompano and they flam right up and take off and go back to their car. Well, I'm not sure what the ruling is. I know for sure on a boat you cannot fillet pompano and then uh, walk back to your car with it. Uh, some might call that fillet and release. 
but uh, the Florida Fish and Wildlife people will actually confiscate your fillets, determine the, the DNA of the fish, and the, uh, the, the fines for that are quite hefty, depending on what you were doing. If you were just catching hook and line, I'm pretty sure the, uh, the, uh, the maximum is 60 days in jail, and the minimum fine, I think, is 100 up to $500. So uh, you never want to flay those fish. And, and I guarantee you, if you were on a beach and Florida Fish and Wildlife come up and they look in your cooler and all you, they saw is fillets, you'd be in big trouble. And some of these guys do it because they're catching shorts and figure, hey, you know, you know, no, no one will be the wiser. Well, they will be the wiser and the, the technology to determine that it is pompano fillets and they don't care how big the fish was. You can tell them it was a 20 inch pomp and you're going to be in the wrong. So don't be flaying your fish on the beach uh, unless you want to get into trouble and go ahead and fillet them. So um, getting back to our websites, we can well, go to this uh, site here from the Florida Senate and Florida statutes, and, and this will show you that, you know, a base penalty for that is uh, no more than 60 days in jail and uh, no less than 100 up to 500. And then if you were maybe fishing with nets, well, it gets a lot more steep after that. So anyways, enough about that. That's the rules on that. And I hope this helps you determine how to uh, properly determine what the size limit is for your catch and how to measure that catch. I always like to, uh, you know, put a ruler right on top of my cooler, epoxy it, or make lines that are a little generous, if anything. Uh, so you, you're going to make sure that you're over 11 inches on those pumps, and that'll do it. You know, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please subscribe to my Pompano Brownie channel. And don't forget to hit that bell up there so you can get reminders of new videos that are coming out. That'll do it for this video.